how to get the direct experience of universality of the experiencer and this i should ask everybody because this is a very very common question i think everybody should know the answer and uh, whether monica could answer it or not i'll tell you later how to get the direct experience that i am universal not something limited to the this creature the human body human creature human being is there any way monica said oneness i actually don't remember what you said but you already said that it is universal but we are not asking whether it is universal or not we are asking which experience will actually show it show the universality lela is saying all experiences sweet by being the witness see you are the witness right now also but will is then the experience of universality there can be a local witness also instead of universal actually that is what is the belief of many people including very intelligent people in nick is saying if experience universality will become limited by the seen senses thus universality is unknowable yes that is the point is very good here that the senses can only see that which is limited senses can convey only that which is limited and all the experience that we are having currently in the human form are very limited tiny very tiny so how can that which is the whole universe universal whole existence itself can be shown so probably nick means that it is unknowable through senses probably you mean that however the universe universality itself is not unknowable it is unknowable if you want to grasp it using the senses hopefully it means that pragesh saying no experience can show the universality very good <laughs> that's a good answer pratik by checking the universality of experiences and direct experience of it all other experiences that are happening can be experienced by this experience it's possible group mind and many such experiments so very difficult answer vipin is saying coming from dream to waking state everything in dream is the experience that is a metaphor it, it cannot be called as a proof or evidence that will be metaphorical that is a good example that you know all the experiences are being witnessed by one it is possible the possibility is shown by this dream to waking state transition satya is saying by just being it is just being already but that gives no knowledge the knowledge you know the intellect is demanding the evidence here the being is happy as it is <laughs> is being that which it is it is not demanding anything a very tricky question many answers are coming <laughs> nobody is telling the basic thing hmm the page is saying everything is one experience let me see more answers somebody hmm people are tangled in experiences it looks like shilpa is saying experience of oneness oneness is not an experience oneness is dissolution of experience into the experiencer you cannot say oneness is an experience you can say knowledge of oneness which is also very much debatable rahul neeti neeti no neeti neeti gives my true essence does not show universality those who have done the three day program they will know they will know the simple answer to this what is the essence of the existence you need to answer this question what is the essence of the existence sakte singh bliss bliss is experiencer only isn't it the page is saying there is only experience vipin is saying emptiness emptiness is also experiencer experiencer is emptiness yes vinay is right experience is the essence of the existence existence means that which is universal isn't it that which is only present so <laughs> the experiencer is the whole then it is universal then you need to show that the exist the essence of the existence is the experiencer and then automatically it is the universal because existence is all that is existence is synonym of universe or you can say all the universes the page is saying experience are equal to all possibilities at the level of non duality you can say but then we do not call it experiencer we call it existence so in uh, one short sentence it can be said that the witnessing ability in the existence is its essence just like the essence of a table wooden table is wood not anything else 
not the shape it takes or not the polish or the paint of it it is the wood if the wood disappears nothing will remain same way the essence of the existence is the experiencer if it is not it is removed there is nothing then how do we arrive at this it is the essence because our direct experience is existence means all the experiences being witnessed by the experiencer the screen that is the experiencer and the pictures that are coming and going is the experience now obviously how to find out the essence by removing that which is changing what is changing the pictures or the experience part is changing remove it what remains is the screen the experiencer remains that cannot be removed you see so that is the essence of the existence it can be easily shown that the existence is nothing but experience plus experiencer that means existence is seen as duality and it is kind of evident that the experiencer can be the only essence of this existence and then it is proven then it is shown and there is one more thing which i want to point out a very important thing that the question is asking how to get the direct experience of the experiencer now remember the experiencer cannot be become the experience so that's why all these answers are mostly wrong although good attempt was made by everybody but uh, they fell for this thing you know that a, an experiencer can be experienced not true not possible it must be inferred yes pratik is asking it was said that direct experience verification not through logic using existence yes so you cannot you cannot get the direct experience verification here because there won't be any experience of the experiencer whether local or universal or any kind limited or unlimited it cannot be experienced so forget about direct experience of it and the universal experiencer no no experience of it possible who will get it <laughs> you are that already you are the witness you are the experience you are the universal experience yourself you are the brahman so who is there to look at itself it's not possible you see the universality is mostly inferred but it is supported by the direct experience you see because these things cannot be experienced so it is supported by the direct experience and the direct experience is what that it is ever present eternally present everywhere omnipresent uh, guru ji actually one of my, my seekers also asked me this that if this experiencer is universal then why it cannot experience Uh, the thoughts or other the experiences of a person who is let's say in the europe so i i i told her that yes it is possible to experience anything in this uh, in all the experiences that are happening so i was viewing this question from that angle also let's say the other person experiences uh, um, can be known by your experiencer also if one manages uh, to pay attention or you know go into the thing so i was looking from tangle also regarding the universality of the experiencer which can experience all the other experiences hmm some problems here in your statement there is no my experiencer okay there is no my experiencer there is only the experiencer so and second thing there is a law which everybody should note down the law is that the limitedness of the experience does not uh, conclude anything about the unlimitedness of the experiencer this is in the same category as the mutually exclusiveness of the experience and the experiencer which means experience cannot become the experiencer and the experiencer cannot become an experience in the same way limitedness of the experience does not guarantee the limitedness of the experiencer it does not say anything about the unlimited nature or limited nature of the experiencer this is the law now it is your job to verify this law is it even possible that uh, the universal experiencer through different view points is getting a limited experience so is it possible that it has also become local that cannot be proven that cannot be shown so there is this logical fallacy here concluding that because my experience is limited 
that means the experiencer is limited no is not possible another uh, metaphor is let us say you are standing in a room and it has windows on all sides four windows on four walls plus a door obviously so you are getting uh, four views of the surroundings let us say front window shows beach sea coast the side window shows little bit of trees forest the back window shows your neighbor's house you want to close it and some other view from the other window so when you are facing one window it means you are getting a limited experience but that does not mean that you cannot get an experience of all other windows through all other windows it is possible and you are the only one who is getting all the views the windows themselves cannot view anything so this is another metaphor that the experiencer is getting all the views the creature cannot do anything about it it's not possible even if you get uh, somebody even if you read somebody else's thought in the europe or somewhere that won't guarantee the universality of the experiencer it will only show that there is no separation between the minds which is a well proven actually <laughs> don't nobody needs an evidence for this it is mostly proven that minds are not separated the thoughts can come from here to there it is almost proven yes it is not the ability of an average person so they don't know about it every spiritual person knows about this thing it is everyday experience for them now it still that is not going to prove the universality that proves that you have an ability that's all and you know what happens if you get all the experiences at once you will need the experience whole experience of the universal memory to even say something about the universality of the experiencer and if you get all these experiences all the uh, vibrations of the whole universe the infinite amount of it first of all it's not possible you know it cannot fit in the local memory as a as a human being you are trying to experience the whole universal memory impossible impossible anyhow it will be blank yes it will be blank the screen will show nothing remember the pinhole camera metaphor remember the thousand song metaphor that if you play thousand so- songs through one speaker you will hear nothing just the hissing sound om <laughs> that is the real om isn't it so all the frequencies at once impossible to get the verification of universality by hook or crook only way is logic only way is concluding like this that the essence of the existence comes out to be the experiencer if anybody knows something better please let me know because i have seen many videos you know many videos and they are always not so convincing i have asked many teachers not very convincing but it is almost certain that there is only one experiencer because you for that you know the um, scriptures are very much clear about this that you cannot count it if you want to prove the multiplicity if you want to prove more than one then you must count it this is the mimamsa you see this is the ancient logic there are many rules in this logic like this you need to read the mimamsa so one of the rules is you cannot assume the multiplicity of things unless you count it our logic should say they are multiple so you see it is impossible to count the experiencer impossible because it cannot be experienced you see only objects can be experienced and that also limited objects there are objects that cannot be counted for example the air or the water the air is all pervading your house now if you go to one room do you say i am in the air number 2 i am in the air number 3 now no there are no boundaries in the air and that also proves actually because when you never see the boundaries of the experiencer that proves that it is universal unlimited so you see don't try to get an experience not not practical way <laughs> you need to use your intelligence all the laws of the logic when they are placed before you you will conclude only one thing that is the universality of the experiencer that it is not the personal experiencer you are the universal experiencer you are not only an experiencer you are the universal experiencer you are the brahman you are the existence